few years ago, a company called Foscam started making some pretty nifty little Wi-Fi CCTV security cameras. Now these proved pretty popular and they sold like hotcakes, but the only problem was they were just that little bit expensive. So it was no surprise that other companies started making similar products which were equally as good but just that little bit cheaper. And with the market fully open it wasn't long before China started producing some rip-off clones of the original Foscam camera. And with that they began competing amongst themselves and the price went into freefall like it does. And now today and remarkably you can get a Foscam clone for just over 20 UK pounds delivered. So at these silly prices, I thought it was about time that I had a look and found out, are these cameras actually any good? Will they really work? Then here's the one I bought, a UK-based company, no one bid on it, mine for £24. And looking at the pictures, you can see it's just a Foscam clone, it has that traditional duck-type sort of appearance. I wasn't too worried about the additional features, what I wanted was uh, Wi-Fi on 802 and a minimum of 720p resolution. Now you do have to be a little careful because some of the very cheaper prices are actually only 640 by 480 so they're not 720p. I did take the time to look at some reviews for this camera and yeah 3.2 out of 5 isn't very good on the eBay reviews. Now eBay reviews probably aren't the best, some people criticise their courier for leaving their sort of parcel out in the rain and mark things down, but this one certainly did have a few people sort of quite angry actually. When you went deeper into the reviews, it appeared that the main bugbear was trying to set the camera up over Wi-Fi, in fact some people just couldn't do it. It's a complete contradiction to the advert on eBay because it states that you need no knowledge of your Wi-Fi at all, it's that easy to set up. Scrolling down the advert further, you can see it works on various platforms. You can either use it as over your Wi-Fi or even remotely from your phone. And there's a detection system where the camera will send you a notification if it detects movement. And once again, this is via email or a message on your mobile. The camera is also provided with a bracket so you can put it onto your wall and even invert it from your ceiling so it works even upside down. So here's the uh, spec for the camera if you want to pause this so you can sort of read that. I know people are interested in that sort of thing. But one thing I find amusing with this, look, IR irradiation 10 meters. It almost sounds like if you put this in your kid's bedroom, you can cook them while you're asleep. Joking aside, I'm hoping that is just the LED infrared projection distance which the camera will see in the dark. And I'll be having a look at that a little later. And it's also worth noting there is a G sensor in this IP camera so when you shake it you will hear some sounds but it is not a breakdown so bear that in mind. Now in the box you get the bare essentials including the mounting bracket but bear in mind there is no LAN cable to your router because that becomes important later on. To use this camera you have to install a program called UC. Now conveniently they provide a 2D barcode on the box both for iOS and also Android. Now the weakest link on this purchase by far is the small instruction book that is provided with the camera. We'll be having a look at that in a minute, but it's absolutely awful. Anyway, enough talking, let's have a look at the camera. So this is the camera out of the box. Now at this stage I'd like to say I'm not going to do a full review of the camera here. There's a couple of features that I won't be showing you, but I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, right in the box you've got the standard UK power adapter. Not a bad size lead, but it could be a bit longer. Then you've got this rather flimsy sort of plastic bracket thing, which I suppose, yeah, it probably will work um, if you go sort of careful with it, but it uh, isn't the best thing in quality. Now the cardboard box in which the camera arrives is quite important because printed on the side are these two 2D barcodes. So you want to save those before you put the box into recycling which is uh, what I did and we're going to come back to those in a moment to load the software. Now talking about the software here are the enclosed instructions and this is the weak point of the camera and also many Chinese products. It's, they're basically just very difficult to understand, they kind of jump points that are quite important, the translation is pretty poor, it's kind of pidgin English, and they just don't go into enough detail um, for you to get the camera set up on Wi-Fi correctly. Right, finally we move on to the camera itself, and things pick up here. Yeah, it's not kind of the best quality, you know, don't expect a Sony product, but you know what, it's not too bad, it doesn't feel 
too bad at all it's got a little bit of weight to it um, on the back here you've got your LAN port for your router uh, you've got the power jack and then you've got a little slot just below here for a mini SD card the antenna it's adjustable in uh, most directions but it doesn't appear to be removable on the back of the camera is very important when you come to setting it up is the sticker here which gives you the standard password and that's about all she wrote you've got a small microphone in the front and an equally small speaker in the back which I will demonstrate in a minute now to get the camera working you're going to have to download that UC software and this is where those two barcodes come in handy assuming you've got a 2D barcode reader on your phone or your tablet you simply scan the barcode and it takes you straight to the app from which you can download now this is where things got a bit strange for me I downloaded the UC app onto my phone and I tried to register and well I had a few problems it took about four attempts and the software was very glitchy at the start you then have to register the camera to the phone using the password code on which is on the bottom of the camera itself and once again this did cause a few problems once I got it working though it's been working fine so once you get the app on your phone you then click onto the camera pane and hopefully your camera loads up like mine does here and once you get to this stage well you're now connected to your camera and you can move the camera around by swiping on the screen of your phone or on of your pad if you're using a PC you use the directional buttons that come up on the screen and there's a bit of lag as you'd expect over Wi-Fi but the camera does rather jerkily move around it doesn't exactly pan but it certainly does move around and you can then pinch and zoom on the image of course it's not an optical zoom on this level of camera it's only a digital zoom but it does allow you to do it so I've now moved the camera out into the garden. This is also to test the image quality and the transition range between light and dark. As you see, it handles it quite well. And also, people complained about the Wi-Fi distance, saying that they lost connection with their camera when they tried to use it over any distance. But as you can see here, look, it's actually working quite fine. I can move the camera around. I can use the pinch and zoom and zoom into certain parts of the image. So I'm not finding it a problem. So what I might do is, take this camera even further and maybe put it down in the uh, summer house but for now as you can see look poor old Bella there she wants to come in so uh, I'll better go and let the dog in okay so I've now taken the camera even further from the router and I've now got it on the edge of the summer house and yeah once again look that's very very slight lag as you'd expect over Wi-Fi but it's working absolutely fine I can sort of scan around I can sort of see everything the image is nice and sharp I'm getting no blocking or no no dropout so yeah you know once again I'm very impressed with the Wi-Fi performance. Right, moving back indoors to the camera. Do you remember I said this camera had a built-in speaker which allowed you to talk to your camera from a remote distance? So we're going to give that a go. So the next voice you hear will be me speaking through the camera itself. So another feature of this camera is the remote speaker, which means you can communicate with it through your phone. Now this might be over your Wi-Fi network or even perhaps over your phone's network so you can talk to your camera maybe whilst at work. And I think this is quite a good feature if you're using the uh, camera to maybe keep an eye on children or pets or something like that. And uh, you just want to sort of give them a reassuring word. And it comes out quite well. And I think for 30 quid you can't know this feature Works well. Now the last feature that I want to show you of this CCTV camera is its low light capabilities. Now it starts off recording in colour. I'm going to switch the light off now. This is now total darkness. You see the infrared LEDs fire. And now this is recording in darkness with the infrared LEDs. And as you can see, the focus is pretty good. It's certainly uh, quite nice and clear. You can sort of see what's going on. And uh, like with the daylight shooting, you're able to... Uh, using your phone or tablet you are able to swipe around and just move the camera up and down and uh, yeah it seems to stay in focus it's supposed to uh, project out 10 meters I don't know about that but uh, it certainly works quite well I was suitably impressed now as I mentioned earlier in this video I haven't quite got the time to show you all of its features the camera does have an SD card slot so you're able to record footage straight onto the SD card it also has motion sensor tracking as well which means it should uh, start recording straight onto the SD card when it detects motion I believe that is adjustable in the software and it will also send a notification by email or message to your phone or computer but for my use, I just wanted a Wi-Fi CCTV camera. And for me, it works 
absolutely fine. It's a shame about the instructions letter game that you know these Chinese manufacturers should just spend a few extra dollars and get an English person to actually write the instructions for this product. But other than that, once it's up and running, it works absolutely fine. Anyway, you're going to bring this one to a close. Cheers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.